Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 21st of 2022 well, this titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 6217. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and specifically a barred spiral galaxy. Now spiral galaxies are divided into two groups. There are those galaxies that we call normal spiral galaxies and the barred spiral galaxies. The barred spiral galaxies seem to have a bar going through the center and the spiral arms kind of come off the ends of that bar. Whereas any normal spiral galaxy, there is no bar and the galaxy, the spiral arms seem to just swirl down into the center. Now, while we call the normal spiral galaxies normal, actually, there are more barred spiral galaxies than normal spiral galaxies. So it just dates back to the original naming of them. And here we see the traditional things we are used to with looking at in a spiral galaxy. A spiral galaxy, of course, has spiral arms, but those spiral arms are highlighted by the blue star clusters. And you can see the distinct blue color dominating these spiral arms. Now that is because most of the stars, the most of the light from the stars comes from very hot blue stars. And this means that stars have formed recently because these very hot blue stars often only live a couple of million years before they will go have gone through their lives and be gone. So the fact that we see them today means they must have formed within the last few million years. Otherwise, they would be gone. When we look at other older types of galaxies, we see no of no none of these blue stars. And in fact, we'll see them dominated by the red light of super giant red stars. But here we see those. Now we do see some red here, kind of a pink color. That is actually the emission of hydrogen gas. When hydrogen gas is excited, it will give off a distinct red glow. And we see that as pink emission nebulae here. Now you'll note how that blue color and the pink are all wound right around the spiral arms. And that's because that is where the density of material is the greatest. And that's where stars are forming. And the stars will move in and out of those spiral arms. But many of these stars don't live a very long time. So that means that they will spend their entire lives within the spiral arms. Whereas a star like our own sun might move in and out of spiral arms many times over its life as it orbits the galaxy. These stars don't live very long and will therefore spend those that entire time that they have within a single spiral arm before they finally die and in many cases of the most massive ones become supernovae and explode. So we get to see again the star formation within a barred spiral galaxy here. So that was our picture of the day for February 21st of 2022. It was titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 6217. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Quasar Illustrated. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.